Hello, how are you? My name is Aisha, and today I would like to speak about the nine-year-old girl from, I believe, Rochester, New York, that was handcuffed and pepper sprayed by the police while she's screaming for her dad, for her mom. Um, I actually have the video up on my channel, so you can check it out if you don't know what I'm talking about. But I just want to read this article to you guys so you can understand the seriousness of police brutality and why it's why this is extremely serious is because it's a nine year old. This is a problem when they're abusing children. It's a problem when they abuse adults, but you should have extreme amounts of anger when they are abusing children and putting that shit on tape. When I made the video, when I put out the first video, I actually put out a video before that and I had to take it down because I was angry and because I was cussing and just saying inappropriate things that need to be said, but it definitely doesn't need to be put out into the world. So, um, if you haven't watched that video, check it out and then you can listen to my commentary and what happened. So this is from Buzz BuzzFeed News. A nine-year-old girl was handcuffed and pepper sprayed by Rochester cops while she screamed for her dad. This is the little girl handcuffed. The Rochester Police Department in New York released body camera footage Sunday showing officers handcuffing and pepper spraying a nine-year-old while responding to a call for trouble or family trouble. The two disturbing videos show the distressed child screaming for her fa father while officers tried to restrain her and get her to sit inside a police vehicle on Friday afternoon. Keep in mind, we're talking about a nine-year-old. Always keep that shit in mind. You're acting like a child, one male officer is heard telling her in the video. I am a child, she screams. So who's the logical one? Is it the, the officer that's protecting and serving? That's probably at, at least 28 plus, we'll say, in age. Or is it the freaking person that's been here only a decade? I'm going to pepper spray you. And I don't want to, a woman officer tells the girl while trying to put her, to get her to put her feet inside the police car. This is your last chance. Otherwise, pepper spray is going in your eyeballs, the officer says. The girl, whose face was blurred out in the videos, begs the officers not to spray her. After she is pepper sprayed, she cries. It went in my eyes. It went in my eyes. And she actually says, please, let wipe my eyes, please. She says something. It's just, it's very sad. Officers did not identify the child, her family, or any of the officers involved in the incident. I'm not going to stand here and tell you that for a nine-year-old to have have to be pepper sprayed is okay, Rochester Police Chief Cynthia. It doesn't matter. She said, Cynthia said at a press conference, it's not. I don't see that, that I don't see that is who we are as a department. That sounds weird. Okay, she's saying that's not who we are as a department. Have Isn't it crazy that since January 6th, we have been hearing this same bullshit sentence of we are not that. I don't see us as that. This is not who we are. This is exactly who you are. 2020, listen to this. Anyone that is listening, 2020 opened up your eyes. 2021 is giving you that work. 
all year. So anything that you saw in 2020 that you just couldn't fathom, you couldn't believe, now it's happening and it's showing you that this shit is actually in front of you. It's not a game. It's not a joke. It's not being made up. It's not fucking fake news. This shit is going on all around you. This is why people march every day. This is why people fight for civil rights because of shit like this. The incident brought renewed scrutiny to the police department whose top officials resigned last September following protests over the death of Daniel Prude, a black man who died of asphyxiation after Rochester officers put a hood over his head and pinned him to the ground. So this happened in Rochester just last year, huh? Well, last September. Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren said that Friday's incident was not something any of us should want to justify. She said the young girl reminded her of her own daughter. I have a 10 year old daughter. She, so she's a child, she's a baby, Warren said. And I can tell you that this video as a mother is not anything that you want to see. I saw my baby's face in her face. She said in an emotional, appeal for compassion and empathy in the way police officers act in the community. Let's see. So officers responding to a report of family trouble around 321. So this is what's happening to the little girl. Local time on Friday were made aware that a nine-year-old girl was upset and suicidal and had indicated that she wanted to kill herself and that she wanted to kill her mom, Rochester Executive Deputy Police. Okay, so, oh my God. So I would understand that if somebody wanted to attack somebody else, why you would come through like that. If she wanted to kill herself, why would you then handcuff her and spray her with pepper spray. If she wanted to kill her mom, but she never indicated that she was actually going to do it, she just said it, why are you handcuffing a child and pepper spraying them? I don't know what is needed for pepper spray and four officers abusing a child that's already having suicidal thoughts. I'm pretty sure that didn't help the situation. But in some people's minds and in these cops' minds, they did an awesome job. That day, they probably gave each other high fives. Nobody probably felt any type of way. They thought we were standing up for America. We were doing our duty. We did our job. Um, I'm not going to read any more of this. I will leave the description in the box down below. The thing that I want to tell you guys, three things for this poor child that has happened to this poor child. One, she was face down in the snow handcuffed. Two, the cops are calling this girl dear after they already had her face down in the snow, after they've already tussled with her, you're trying to show compassion to a person that's already been, been screaming for their dad. These are all things that you will see in the video. And three, these pigs pepper sprayed this girl and closed her in the cop car. One of the cops are talking about how this is unbelievable. Bitch, it's unbelievable that you can't control a nine-year-old. It's unbelievable that you needed all those pigs with you to try to control a nine-year-old or any type of situation that shows how much of cowards you truly are, how you truly cannot do anything on your own. You need to mob up 
in crowds like you fools always do. Is anyone tired of the police other than the people that are always saying blue lives matter while the police are literally abusing all of us? It doesn't matter if you're not a person that's ever had a bad encounter with the cops. It doesn't matter if the cops haven't beat your ass over the head. It matters that they've done it to other Americans. Fuck Americans. It matters that these group of people throughout the world with badges are allowed to abuse citizens. Anybody. They feel that they deem is necessary of abuse. And we still haven't beat their asses yet. We still haven't gone out into the street and started fighting with them yet. We still haven't pulled out guns yet. We haven't done anything. Yet on January 6th, you had all these fucking cowards come out in mass. Fucking storm a Capitol building. Get applauds. The cops let them in. Some of them were cops. They're doing whatever the fuck they want to do. They can let hordes of people storm a fucking capital, but they can't not put five bullets in the back of someone. They can't not con- they can't control a fucking nine year old. They can't not kill elderly people. There is one hundred percent two Americas, and you're sick if you don't see it. I'm gonna tell you one more thing. If these cops did that to my kid, we'd be some dead motherfuckers. We would be dead on that street because we'd be some fighting motherfuckers because you would not have my kid face down in the snow with handcuffs on because they were having a mental breakdown. You guys have a good day. Bye.